What's up everyone, this is Ollie Talkers Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you all the changes in the latest iOS 11.2 Beta 3 update that was just dropped today. Let's get started. Okay, so because this is a beta update, I have to sort of talk about this, and I just want to say battery life. Battery life in the past update was trash, and that is the exact same for this update. It hasn't improved at all, and if anything, it feels actually worse. So every beta update, I've noticed the battery has been getting significantly worse and worse and worse, and then there's some other update to come along that fixes all that, but then it just gets worse again. So that's the same thing with this update. It's gotten worse. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to be talking about some of the bugs the bug fixes and some of the changes in this update. So one of the bugs is that the iPhone keeps overheating like crazy, so that stinks. But another bug is if you go into the wallpaper section, you, you can see the time does not align with the one on the wallpaper. So you can see it says 650 on my iOS device, whereas on here it says 1141. And 1141 is supposed to say 941, because that's when the iPhone was released a while back in 2007, I think it was. It's just funny that it's not aligned like it used to be. So the time on these two images should say 941, but the one on the left says 1141, and the one on the right says the current time, and it's off by a few minutes, which is kind of odd. So the time is not right. Also, speaking of glitches and stuff, that widget panel glitch is still existing in this beta. Frame rates stutter like crazy, it's awful. But I do want to mention that in the past beta update, frame rates were very fluid, where in this update I did notice a little bit of lag, but that could just be because I just updated, that sometimes does happen, and then over time the beta update, I guess, improves and everything's really fluid. So one of the new changes I want to talk about is Wi-Fi. So when you tap on Wi-Fi and turn it off, you'll now get this message for the first time. So a lot of people are having confusion if Wi-Fi actually turned off, if it only was disabled for a certain amount of time. So that's what this little pop-up does. It explains everything pretty thoroughly. So we, you know exactly what that toggle does in the control center and how it's been changed. Also, I do want to mention something that I sort of noticed. So in the past few beta updates, every night before I go to sleep, I turn my iPhone Wi-Fi off and I always do this through the control center and I notice when I wake up the blue toggle is always back on So usually when I go to sleep that toggle with the Wi-Fi logo in it pretty much has a slash through it Whereas when I wake up it shows the blue icon and I'm like why is it turning on every morning? It's so weird. I think it's like a glitch or something. Well, it turns out this is an actual feature in iOS 11.2 beta 3 so I just want to address that for any of you who are having that sort of issue or you thought it was a bug. That's actually not a bug. That's a feature. And same goes for Bluetooth. And you also get the same prompt for Bluetooth. You even get a different look when you toggle on and off the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. So as you can see, the Wi-Fi is now white, whereas before it would have a line through it. So you can see Bluetooth right now has a line through it. And boom, that is the last time I'm going to see a line through Bluetooth on this iOS device. And when I go ahead and turn it off, I'm going to get the same pop-up, and then the white shows up again. But when you turn it off and on again, you won't ever see that pop-up again. That was just, I guess, for people when they first get their update in a few weeks with the actual final version of this beta. They'll know what's going on with the whole Wi-Fi situation. Now, something else I noticed in the control center was when you go ahead and scroll up and down on the volume, this is in the old beta. When your volume was all the way as low as it could get, it would show one little bar, where as now, it's kind of interesting. It now shows a line. So remember how on the Wi-Fi toggle, it would show a line through Wi-Fi? That's exactly what appears on the screen right now when the volume is as low as it can get. Kind of an interesting change. I really like how Apple pays this close attention to detail. I think it's insane how they're able to do all this. But you can see this is what it used to look like in beta 2, and it's now beta 3, and you can see the line. So one of the bugs I want to address that's been fixed was when you visited the website or the app on YouTube, you go ahead and play a video and what would end up happening was the video would just pause but the audio would continue even though you were trying to watch the video it was the most annoying thing but that has been addressed also there's been a terrible glitch with spotify where users were reporting to unplug their headphones and have sound continue playing through their ios device i was actually personally having this problem on the bus today at school it was really awkward i was playing my music and then i unplugged my headphones thinking it's gonna pause because usually when you unplug your headphones your phone pauses but that's not the case because it's a glitch and what ended up happening was everyone heard my music and I didn't know because my earbuds were in my ear so like a full five seconds my music was full blast it was really awkward <laughs> but that's about it for today thank you so much for watching I got a bunch of really cool videos coming out soon so hopefully you guys did enjoy as always peace